Oh ho, ZZ, it appears that they are getting too close for my single fire weapon. I must now switch into my ultimate fire mode. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be looking at a very special weapon within the Scout class, and that weapon is the M1903 Experimental. Now, the reason this weapon is so special and so intriguing within the Scout class is the fact that not only can it fire in single bolt action form, much like the M1903 Infantry, it is also capable of changing into a semi-automatic rifle by simply holding down the select fire button. Now, essentially what this means in terms of gameplay is you have a little bit more flexibility in terms of what you want to do with the scout class, whether that be you want to play a bit more aggressive and push up on the enemies using your 41 round pistol caliber magazine, or you can sit back and pick off enemies with the long range option of the bolt action rifle itself. Now, personally, I really like this weapon. It's a lot of fun to use, and I had a lot of fun recording this video. So, I hope you enjoy, and as always, like the motherfucking video. Let's get into it. So I've been screwing around with this thing for a little bit, and um, the biggest comment so far is these sights, man. Like, as soon as... It's... See, look, there's a guy there. I just saw him run. But, they're so... Oh, it's a teammate, well. <laughs> but they're just so obstructive, it's hard to follow things. Like, I don't know. I might try the... the... I know this is going to sound sacrilegious, but I might try the radium with the sights see if they're any better, but yeah, the, M the M1903, I just really don't like these irons. Oh shit. Yeah, the boys. So, uh, the other day, I started watching Tokyo Ghoul. Um, now, I know, this pro that's probably going to piss some people off, and that was exactly the reason why, originally, I told myself I was never going to watch it. Um, I don't want to talk about what just happened. But anyway, originally I told myself I was never going to watch that because of essentially what everyone says about it. Like, not even its own fans seem to be able to agree with and like what the show was made. But, you know, I got through the first two seasons of it, and I finally started season three. And I'm starting to slowly understand what everyone's saying about it, because... I don't know, I just... I really don't like how they completely... How, why are you there? Um, they completely shifted the whole manga away and rewrote it for those first two seasons essentially but then they decided to like softcore reboot it because everyone hated it i don't know once you once you've done something like that i feel you really need to stick out with your original story um i don't know we'll i'm, 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 I'm gonna keep doing it but uh i'm gonna keep watching it we'll, we'll see it through but i'm not exactly enthralled by it so far if is this what i'm trying to say Oh, I want to see if I can hit this guy. Let's see if I can hit him. 
Oh no! I missed his head! Ah, uh, damn it. Oh well, that was a good first game. Alright. Let's get this. Let's get this. Bread. 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 I'm gonna hit someone. I'm gonna get... Oh, oh god, I'm about to die. Yeah, yeah, off there. Bread. Bread. There's so many explosions. Oh my god, what god on forest. I was died of the gas grenade. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Bread. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> What? Why are you shooting a mortar there still? Your teammates are there! Oh god, I just spawned cuz. Why is there whole fucking team there? Oh, for fuck's sake! Why are you prone there? Jesus, bro. Fucking virgin. I can't see him! Alright, so I've switched to the radium sights. Let's see if these are in any way, shape, or form better. They're probably... Uh, probably not. They they actually kind of look worse. Oh god, okay. Well, let's see how we do. <laughs> not well to start off by the looks of it. I was going to say, is he going to die? How am I still alive? Alright, so my biggest takeaway from this weapon so far is it's time to kill up close isn't too bad and the ability to switch to the sniper is like actually a pretty cool feature. I really like it as a secondary fire. That is a flame trooper. Um, but it's it's spams doesn't seem very accurate. Like most weapons in the game, the spam fire doesn't seem very accurate, and the damage fall off is really bad because it's using pistol caliber rounds. Like you've got to expect it. Um, but yeah, overall it's pretty fun. It's definitely not like top tier by any stretch of the imagination, but it's fun to use. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I know I should have switched to the sniper, but I- oh my god, okay. I know I should have switched to the sniper, but I wanted to try. I wanted to try. Oh, thank God that game's done. Jesus Christ, I was not having fun on Shotgun Simulator 1918. Oh my lord. Thank you all for making it to the end of the video. Since you've made it this far, comment down below, I like cables. Alright, let's just confuse everybody that's coming into this comment section. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure to like the video. And if you like this sort of content, perhaps consider subscribing. I upload weekly Battlefield 1 content leading up to Battlefield 2042's release. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all again. Have a good day. And uh, peace out.